once I've got my list of pa patients that I want to put into the two different groups, uh, then I need to customize my R file to contain those. So you see here that the standard format for defining a variable within R is the assignment, which is this less than and dash symbol, so like a pointy arrow, to the name of the variable, which in this case I'm calling bar one. So it's the barcodes for group one. Then you have a C, meaning it's a column vector, and then you open the brackets. And then because they're text, you have to have speech marks around the text and then a comma between each one of the entries. So what I can do is take these case IDs, which are the ones that I want, I could just highlight the column out of uh, Excel. I could copy it and I could paste it, but then I'd have to go through and I'd have to paste in all the speech marks and I'd have to paste in all the commas. Now I don't really fancy that, so I'm going to take a bit of a shortcut. What I'm going to do is put some speech marks here. Whoops, speech marks here. And put a comma here. And I'm going to use the concatenation function. So the concatenation function allows you to put several pieces of text together within Excel. So you go equals concat. And with all functions, you open a bracket. So the first thing I want it to do is put what is in the queue one cell at the start. I want to put what is in the A2 cell. And I want to put what is in that Q1 cell again. And then I want to put what is in the R1 cell. So that is exactly the right format that I want. And you notice when I type those, sometimes I use dollar in front of the column and row and sometimes I didn't, so for A2 I didn't. So if you put the dollar in front it gives it an absolute value, which means that it is always that cell and that cell. When you don't put the dollars in front of it, like A2, it means it's a relative one. So that means for that row it uses the value from A2, from this one it uses A3 and so on. So when I copy and pay, when I extend that formula all the way to the bottom, it doesn't always put the same value as in A2. It changes it to match with the value that's in that particular row. So this is exactly what I want. I want to copy all of these 183 cases. With Control C, and I want to go back to my R file. So I'm going to delete all these ones which are in my template. Delete and paste in these ones. The only extra thing I need to do is there's a trailing comma that I don't need. So I add those in and that's done. So now I can test this out. So first I can assign everything to bar. So there's 183 text things have been associated to this variable. And then I can query it against the database to check that it actually works. And you see while R is running, <coughs> you've got a red dot. So what I did was I put the cursor here at the start of the query and said, and ran it. So it's running, it's going to the database, it's gone to TCGA BRCA project, it's gone for transcription profiling, it's got gene expression quantification, from the primary tumor, and it's got all of the cases which are defined by bar one. So it's checking. Uh, it's giving me a warning that there might be duplicated entries, but it always gives me this. Now I can check if there was actually a problem by actually downloading the data, which is this next run step. Now this will take a little while because I'm downloading 184 files, which is 780 megabytes of data. Now, 
while it's that's doing that, I can just show you that I downloaded the uh, the f uh, stage four cancer patients, which happen to include one male. There are only twenty cases in this uh, this example. And I want to do exactly the same as I did before with the commas and the uh, speech marks and using the concatenation function while it's doing the downloads. Concat. That's done. I'm going to paste it all the way down. <coughs> In the meantime, it is still doing the download on the other one. So now it's finished downloading that. I can uh, do the same process on the other uh, cases. So here I've got my 20. cases for the stage four so I'll delete these particular ones paste in these remove that trailing comma because it's otherwise an error I'll also do some tidying up to get rid of some extra spaces that I don't like save the file and then I run this one to create the second barcode and then I can run this next query to check the database it's working so hopefully you can find those 20 queries within the database. It's taking a little time. So that's prepared the output, it's checked the database and it looks okay. So next I run to download the data. It's only 20 files this time, so hopefully it'll do it quite quickly. So once that's done, now hopefully I've got all of my data on my computer. So if I go to my downloads file, I now have a folder which has GDC data. It has it from the TCGA BRCA, transcriptome profiling, gene expression quantification. And these are each of the individual files that it's downloaded. So within each of these, if I click on it, there is a TSV file. So a tab separated variable file, which contains all of the data for that particular patient. So this is each of the genes. It's which, uh, so this is the ensemble gene name. This is the gene name, it tells you what it does, protein coding. Then it tells you the amount of unstranded, the amount of strand first, strand second, and then uh, the modified version of the unstranded and using the TPM, the FPKM, and the FPKM UQ. So this is all the data that you need. So you have one of those files for each of the patients, for each of the different groups. 